Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Asmarant and this is more 49ers news. Sorry I haven't tried to be as much up to date as I possibly can. It's been busy in the hospitality world. It's getting busier and busier throughout the week. Um, now that, you know, if you're watching from America or anywhere else, uh, or anywhere else in the world, you're allowed inside doors. So, yeah, not times are back to normal, but I will try my best to keep going weekdays for you guys. All right. Enough said, let's talk about the first bit of news. And this is a big one. This is a very, very big one. Um, according to this report, this is yardbreaker.com uh, forward slash NFL forward slash articles. Um, it says uh, out, of 30, out of 32 teams, 30 of them will have 100% attendance, which, which is including the 49ers. It's only the Colts and the Broncos only remain NFL teams not approved to open stadiums at full compatibility. Okay, so let's have a look. Uh, this is by Zach, uh, was it Wisnick? Um, so let's read. Uh, and then there were two. Uh, per Kevin uh, Selfield of the ESPN NFL exclusive vice president of club businesses and league events, Peter O'Reilly said Tuesday that 30 clubs and 28 stadiums have uh, received approval from state and local governments to open venues at full compatibility for games played later this year. Uh, the Colts and the Broncos are the only franchise not yet approved for the 100% of compatibility, but the, if the NFL feels good about the path, they're on in discussions heading into the Memorial Day holiday. Additionally, the league said that teams will, will be allowed to welcome fans to training camp sessions based upon local and state guidelines recommendations. Well, that's pretty good. Um, it won't be likely uh, look exactly the same way as a normal training camp as far as Proximity to players and all grass and uh, and some of the other things O'Reilly explained, but we're excited to be able to communicate that fans will be able to enjoy an accessible part of the calendar. Last week, Senior Vice President of the NFL Club Business Development uh, Bobby Gallo announced in an email that the league intends to ease certain health and safety protocols for fans fully vaccinated against COVID-19. The language says that if you have tested positive. For COVID-19, we, we are asking you to stay at home, uh, Gillow wrote, according to the uh, Athletic. The other uh, restrictions, if you had to, if you had an exposure to someone, if you are experiencing symptoms within 48 hours, you've travelled to a place with a travel or quarantine restriction, do not apply to fully vaccinated fans. However, and we shared in recommend, recommended language we sent to the clubs, we are all strongly encourage anyone who has experienced any symptoms within 48 hours to see a healthcare professional and get tested before attending any event. The NFL is not requiring fans to prove they're vaccinated to attend training camp per season games or regular season contests at this time. Okay, well, it's good that, you know, we're slowly getting back to normal. You know, especially in England, England's exactly the same. Everyone's been vaccinated. We've got the Indian variant uh, around and people are trying to get their vaccines as quickly as they can. Um, you know, rumour has it there's another lockdown along the way. But if you get vaccinated, there might not be, a, you know, another lockdown. I think there'll be certain areas, but for not too long. But who knows? But the attendance, 100% attendance. Brilliant. It's good to see America coming back, back into... Uh, normalization back to being normal you know in a normal day world um you could say it's risky people say you know you don't have to take the risk if you don't want to go it, it is risky but by your state and your state guidelines why can't you go if you're vaccinated why can't you go totally understand if you have got symptoms or whatever don't do it do not do it there must be refunds or something to get your tickets back but you know, if you're fully vaccinated, do it. I'm glad to see 100% attendance. I've missed that. It's been sort of been fun and sort of hasn't been fun. Hasn't been fun because I love the buzz. I love, I love the, atmosphere, uh, the atmosphere from the t uh, from the TV. Because I've got the uh, NFL Game Pass. So it's good to see, you know, the crowd going wild. It's good to see stuff like that. And it gets the players going as well. You know, there was an article about um, do players be affected? Do Does players get affected by people not attending? Some of them think, I don't know what, it, it, that's a 50-50, I think some do, some don't. You want the buzz, you want the, uh, the atmosphere. 
It's electrifying. It's great. You know, we've seen good 49ers games that we've watched over the years to see, you know, how a good turnover is for the 49ers. I mean, look at the 49ers against the Saints. Did you see that one? That was 29, the 2019, week 14. That was amazing. Kittle, three people, amazing. The atmosphere, it was buzzing. The whole game was brilliant. The attendance was fantastic. And to see it was amazing. It's good to see it back. Bron uh, Broncos and Colts, I don't know what's going to happen, but time will tell. We've still got lots to go. A few months away, we're still in May. So, yeah, you know, two months to go, June, July, August. Yeah, two months throughout that until August, until the preseason starts. So um, all the games will end. But time will tell. Tell me what you think, guys. Tell me, is it a good idea? Is it a bad idea? Do you think we should have 100% attendance with what's going on? Or shouldn't we? Either way, leave your comments, guys. I'd like to hear your thoughts and stuff like that. Um, thank you very much for the 36 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Uh, very fortunate and humble for you guys to subscribe. And if you're new, guys, subscribe. So we'll be, uh, we'll be doing a lot more 49ers news. And I love gaming and streaming as well. I mucked up on my first ones. Apparently there was no sound. So on the next one, I'll try and get the sound right. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.